Well, hi everyone and welcome back to Waterhouse Ford and welcome to the second video with KMP Brand as our sponsor. Uh, it, hopefully you've seen our previous video where we told you all about that. KMP Brand is the new name for Angler Agriparts and, uh, and of course we welcome them to the channel. Um, now look for this video, uh, something a little bit different. Um, <clears throat> I've noticed the last couple of weeks when I've been using the International that it seemed to be it sounded very tappity, um, which is a little bit concerning because it's not that long ago since we last set the tappers. Anyway, I've uh, I ordered a tappet gasket, tappet cover gasket from Anglo, and um, that, that's now arrived. So I thought I would quickly check them um, and just make sure that they were all set correctly. So th in this video, I'll quickly run you through basically setting the tappets. Now this uh, procedure that I'm going to use is a little bit different to the one that I used uh, when we were doing the Ferguson and I'll explain it as we as we get into as we get into the video um, but because it's a little bit different I thought I would uh, make a quick video on it. Now it's not the only way to do it as, as you know obviously if you go back and have a look at the video where we set the tappets on the Ferguson that way is valid the way I'm going to do it today uh, is valid as well. It's just a different way of doing it. So, hence, I wanted to show you. The, uh, the method I'm going to use today is called the, the, um, the method of NAN. Um, and essentially, what that, how it works is, if you imagine all the tappets is, you know, from the front of the engine, one through to eight, um, and then if you watch as you're rotating the engine, you look for the one which is going down, and when that one reaches the bottom of its travel, uh, whichever one that is, let's say it's number three, um, you subtract three from nine, that obviously gives you six, and that means that uh, valve number six is ready for testing or ready for checking. Uh, but anyway, as I say, we'll, I'll talk you through it further as, we, as, as we're doing it. So, yeah, I've, um, just so you know, I've already prepared, I've basically removed the tappet cover gasket, uh, sorry, the tappet cover, um, I've cleaned up a little bit and uh, we're basically going to jump straight into the job. I didn't think it was worth filming all of that. Um, I'm sure you all know how to remove a tappet cover gasket. So, um, yeah, anyway, let's move over there and uh, we'll get started. Okay, so hopefully that's not a not too bad a, a, uh, an angle for you. It's quite difficult. I need to keep both sides of the engine free because I need to go to the other side to turn the engine. And of course I want to be this side to set the tappet. So I needed to keep the uh, camera away from basically the side of the engine. So I've got you now basically in line with the, with the battery. Um, so basically this is the front of the engine. This is number one. And this is number four. Uh, obviously you're not going to be able to see number four too well. But hopefully when I'm doing these roughly in the middle here, and that's where, obviously that's where I'll focus, uh, hopefully you'll we'll see what I'm doing. Um, so the first thing I want to do, again, is just um, uh, explain this method of none, basically. Um, hopefully you can see that this valve here, which is number three, is, looks like it's either on its way down or it's on its way up. It's slightly lower than all the others. Um, and as I turn the engine, what we'll see well, hopefully if it's going down, we'll see that going down. And as it reaches the bottom of its travel, we know that if that's number three, we subtract three from nine. That means the valve number six, so this one, two, three, four, five, six, will be rocking. And you can actually hear that there, that is loose, and that is ready, will be ready to test. So, let me go to the other side and uh, turn the engine and see what's happening with that number three. Now, I apologize uh, for the background noise. Um, with the Ferguson in the workshop, I can't get the International all the way in, so unfortunately I do have to have the doors open. And so you will hear a little bit of road noise from because the doors are open. Anyway, so watching this number three, as I turn, uh, it's on its way up, so that's not good. Right, so we've got to go a bit more. Until we find one which is heading down. There we go. So this one here, which is basically number five, is on its way down. So when number five reaches the bottom of its travel, 
far, uh, far from none is four, so that basically means we'll be able to set number four. So they're right next to each other. Let's keep turning. So this is number five and it's heading down. I think it might be just a little bit more. Okay, that has stopped moving now, so that means it's at the bottom of its travel. So what that means now is that number four should be ready for test four setting. So if I uh, bring my feet again. Now the um, tappet setting for this engine is 20 thou on all the valves, hot or cold. Not massively complicated. Um, so, right, number four. One, two, three, four. And we can test that one. And actually that feels fun. Yep, that one is fine. So now I've done that one, so what I want to do with a paint pen is just mark that as done. Okay, we'll turn again and look for the next one. Now, number two is heading down at the moment as well. And it is now down. So two from nine is seven. So that's this one here. That means we can set that one. Now, I don't know how well you're going to see this one on the camera. You may not see exactly what I'm doing, but I will do it anyway. Now, this one does feel a bit loose to me. No. That's actually perfect. Okay, so it's not that one. Let's keep going. Oh, we well, can mark that one now. Okay, which one's going down now? Okay, number eight is going down, and so is number six. And number eight is in the lead. And I think that that is down. So eight from nine is one. So we can test number one. That feels really tight. Okay, so we're going to reset that one. Okay, so we'll loosen the um, lock nut. What we'll do is we'll back up, we'll back the, um, the set screw up, back it out, get our feeler gauge in there, back it up some more. Okay, so the feeler gauge is in there now, and it's just 
rest it's just um feeder gauge is just there's just a little bit of resistance on it that's what you're looking for so we'll tighten that there and we'll check it now that's too loose Okay, I'm happy with that now. So we'll mark that. And we'll keep going. Now, we noticed that number six was going down as well, so we'll watch that one now. Okay, number six is down. So we can now check number three. Yeah, that feels fine. So we'll mark that one. Now we'll keep going. number four is going down and so is number seven so four is down four from nine is five so we can check number five there Yep, that feels fine. And number seven is heading down as well, so we'll just turn a little bit more. Okay, that's all the way down. Seven from nine is two. So we can check number two now. Hmm. It's a little bit tighter than I'd like it. I think I'm going to try to reset it. Yep, that feels good. Right, we're getting there. The only two that we're looking for now are number six and number eight. Okay, so number one is going down. That will allow us to do number eight.
And it looks like number three is going down as well, which will allow us to do six. So that's really good. Okay, it looks like number one is all the way down. So again, you probably won't be able to see this, but I'll quickly do number eight. Yeah, number eight is fine. We'll mark that one. And just turn a little bit more. Number three is down, so we can check number six. Oh, number six is very tight. Very, very tight. So we'll loosen that off. Okay, that's where I want it. Perfect. Well, there you go. That's all of them set. Now, it wasn't as anywhere near as bad as I was expecting. Based on the noise I was getting, it, sat, it felt to me like at least three or four of the tappets were loose. We have really only found one that was a little bit loose, and we found three that were a little, a little bit tart. Now, that may be the issue. Um, tight tappets can be just as troublesome as uh, loose tappets, although I don't think tight tappets would give you the tappet noise, but I stand to be corrected. Anyway, um, at least now I know that and I can be sure. What I will do is quickly just nip up each of the um, lock nuts and just make sure that they are all tight. There we go. So, a question to the viewers: um, What else, or what could be, what would sound like tap, loose tappets? Comments in the um, or answers in the comment section, please. Um, I don't know what it is. It it uh, so to help with this um, sounds fine at low uh, engine revs, but at uh, 1500 revs which is what I need to run at when I'm um, mowing it um, I, I get that clickety click clickety click noise of um, you know that you normally associate with uh, with with loose tappets so yeah if anybody's got any ideas I'd be um, very grateful to hear them right now we're going to put the new uh, gasket on and get the tappet cover back on Okay, for um, those who need to know, the Anglo Agriparts um, part number for the tappet cover gasket for the, it's a B276 and I believe it's exactly the same for the B275, is A43602. And of course that's what it looks like. Can't get it all in the camera, but there you go. So we're going to open that and um, pop that on.
the great news is that this um, has this little shimmy here which um, means that the gasket really can only go one way um, so it's, you can't make a mistake basically is what I'm saying now what we want to do is make sure that it's um, lined up nice and straight and then we'll bring the uh, tapper cover down over it and then we'll check it again now what you want to do when you're putting a tapper cover on and this is true of pretty much of any engine you want to try and bring it down as straight as possible so the way to do that is get it lined up you see the top of the bolts and then you watch as you're taking it down how far the bolts are and uh, that, that lets you know how obviously how level it is at least that works on this one now what we do is we gently we check all the way around and make sure that the gasket is sitting just on the edge all the way around which it now is ok I'm happy with that almost there we go okay great now on this uh, tractor there's actually three bolts but the the third one this one here actually doesn't do anything I don't think anyway we've got two nuts washer and a nut one there and one for the front, but the front also has the stay for the radiator, so don't forget to put that on. While we're here, we'll put this bolt in as well just to be sure there we go right now again tapper covers do not need to be excessively tight um, basically just beyond finger tight is what you're looking for this one is um, Tight. There we go. So finger tight, and then probably just like a quarter turn on the spanner. And if you find that it's leaking, you can just tighten it up a little bit more. If you've over tightened it and it's leaking, you can't. As in loosening is not going to help. Not going to make any difference okay there you go that's uh, basically the job so I'm gonna put all everything back together get the bonnet back down and uh, we'll sort it up and we'll you know make sure everything's still working which it should do um, but yeah I don't think we found the problem on this occasion but what you've seen is the method of none in terms of how to set tappets and that will work on any I believe it's any four-cylinder engine, doesn't matter whether it's diesel or petrol, uh, the, the, the point is that it's a four-cylinder. If it's a six-cylinder or eight-cylinder, I'd need to check, but I'm not really sure what the math would be there. But certainly for a four-cylinder engine, subtract the, the number from none, and that gives you the valve which is ready to be tested. Okay, well there you go, that's um, setting the tappet using the method of none. Um, 
Yeah, so that I didn't find the problem. Uh, that's a little bit frustrating. I'll have to um, do a little bit more research and see if I can find out what uh, might be causing that um, click sound. It's um, it's not bad, but it was enough to annoy me. Um, and, and to me it definitely sounded like tappet noise, but um, most of those were absolutely fine. Obviously I'll put everything back together now and uh, I will be mowing, if not tonight, then uh, tomorrow. And uh, who knows, maybe, maybe those three that were a little bit tight. There, as I say, there was one that was a bit loose, but it wasn't enough to concern me. If, you know, if it wasn't 20 thou, it was 21 thou, it wasn't, wasn't a huge amount. Um, those that were tight, I mean the point is I could still get the feeler gauge in there, it was just, it was just hard, right? So I guess that means that uh, they're probably about 19 thou, it's not a massive difference. Um, anyway, uh, let's just see. Uh, but again, if anybody's got any ideas, I'd be, uh, I'd be very appreciative um, to, to hear those. Uh, if you could leave your thoughts in the comments, that would be that would be uh, appreciated. Obviously, as a diesel engine, they they do tend to be tappety, um, but I mean I've had this tractor for seven years. I've used it a lot, and I'm kind of used to the noises it makes. If that makes sense, and um, yeah, it was definitely different. So there you go. Anyway, obviously short video, uh, hopefully the um, camera work was good enough. Um, it may be that when I come to edit this that I find that it was completely useless and, uh, and we'll scrap this video, but I hope it was good enough and hopefully you could see what I was doing. Um, but yeah, I mean it's a really simple um, process, a really simple system. Um, I've, saw, I've seen it used twice now and uh, I really like it. it, it just makes life so much easier. You don't need to worry about TDC and all of that, you can just, it, it, it just works. So it, it's a pretty cool way of doing it. Anyways, um, that's it, that's it for this video. I uh, hope that you've got something out of it, hope you enjoyed it. And um, of course we look forward to seeing you on the next video. So cheers for now.